So let's talk about MCPs. Now, here is the promise. If you're not using MCPs today, my submission is you are potentially leaving time and money on the table. This is incredible. So let's not talk too much. Let's jump in with a demo to showcase using two examples on how this is changing the game, at least for productivity, for efficiencies, and just overall workflow building. So what we're looking at here is uh, Claude, and this is something you might be familiar with, Claude Desktop to be specific. And we're also going to show this using cursor for those who are familiar with cursor as an IDE. So let's put a simple prompt, create an image of Yellowstone National Park. As a matter of fact, let's actually change this. Create a thumbnail of Yellowstone National Park. So let me go ahead and set in that prompt. Now you might say, why are we trying to create a thumbnail now? I create videos on YouTube, creating thumbnails is something that every youtuber has to do and i can tell you it's probably one of the most to me least less interesting things to do so the question is how do you automate that and this is what this does for me so here we've simply given a prompt create a thumbnail of yellowstone national park uh, you can see it's saying yellowstone national park has been generated it's using something here, which I'm sure most of you don't have something like this. Now it says, perfect. I've successfully generated a thumbnail of Yellowstone National Park, and it's in this location. If, if this isn't mind-blowing, I don't know what is. So let's go ahead and check that location. I'm going to switch over. A new location has been created in here. Open that up and double-click on that. Voila. This is a thumbnail of Yellowstone National Park with two images to the left, to the right, one a little bit uh, uh, zoom up perspective, one a little bit zoom in. I think this is a hot spring, the Geyser Springs in uh, Yellowstone, for those who know. It has a title, it has a logo, it has a line separating this. This is, this is remarkable. This is remarkable. Now, how long did that take? I'm just looking at my watch here, probably you know, 30 seconds or so. For those who don't understand or appreciate how challenging this could be the alternative of doing this before mcps would be to come into something like canva open up a template go to gemini generate an image of yellowstone copy the image paste it here go back generate the second image of yellowstone copy that image paste it here make sure the image is dialed in put in a divider copy the logo put the logo here write up the text put up the text here and then you have a thumbnail of Yellowstone National Park. But imagine you have to do this for 50 locations, 100 locations or 1,000 locations. Very quickly, this approach is just time wasting. It doesn't get the job done. And you can do it. If you have you know, months and months to spend generating thumbnails, you can absolutely do it. But if that's not your goal, and if your goal is to be efficient, then you got to think of something different. And that's why MCPs are the game changers. And now, if you think I just made this up, let's, let's actually change this, uh, generate the thumbnail of New York City. And uh, let's do one. Uh, Egypt, Cairo, and maybe give me a name, Paris. And voila. So we're going to do not just one, but we're potentially going to generate three thumbnails this is running again imagine if i had to come back in here and i'm trying to emphasize the, the 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 pain because for you to solve a problem you have to have a pain if i'm doing it with canva as such okay i'm gonna come into new york city find an image paste here find an image paste here come into cairo find an image paste here and paste here put the text put the logo you could do it again. It's just time consuming. It's time I don't have. I, I, you probably don't have that time either to, to spend. So if you go back, uh, and again, this is doing its magic. It's hopefully going to generate three thumbnails for us. And it's all using the power of MCP. So while that's working, let me show you uh, essentially the code. This is available on my GitHub if you want a copy of it. It's uh, two Python files. One which essentially generates a thumbnail. 
And then the second, which is just an MCP wrapper. I wouldn't go into all of this, but essentially you're using fast MCP. If you don't know what fast MCP is, I would say put it on your radar. Uh, so if you have logic that exists within your organization, exists within your workflow, I would think about how do I wrap that into fast MCP and then expose that as MCP tools that could be used by the Gen AI. Now let's go back here. I think it's uh, all be successful. Let's validate the result. Uh, so Cairo, Egypt, voila, kind of looks pretty cool with the text Cairo, Egypt. I love it. Let's go into New York City. Voila, I think that looks like New York City and that is it. Let's go into uh, Paris. Voila, uh, looks to me like Paris. And this, I think these are beautiful thumbnails. These are really, really cool thumbnails. Now, your design of thumbnails, uh, or if you're not into videos like I am, you might have a different problem you need to solve and automate. Your own design could be completely different. But the bottom line and the takeaway is MCPs is the game changer. If you don't have MCPs as part of the tools within your cloud, within your cursor, within any of the LLM tools you're using, you're potentially leaving a lot on the table. And hopefully this gives you some inspiration to think about what is it you do today that is painful, that is annoying, that you just don't have the time to, to do it, that you can now automate as part of MCPs, expose that as tools. So let me show you here. If I come into my own MCP here, you see there is a tool here called uh, Thumbnail Generator, which is essentially what I'm demoing. And within that, I have uh, a couple of functions to generate thumbnails, either single thumbnails, batch thumbnails, and this is it. Now, if you want to send emails, I think uh, uh, Claude has something around Gmail, something around Google Drive, but you can generate images, you can do research, you can create PDFs, you can call APIs and get data, you can do web search with if you don't want to use Brave Search. Anything you can imagine doing, you can expose that as tools using the MCP protocol and it gives you the power. And I think hopefully this has demonstrated that to you in no, uh, in very uncertain terms. So let's go back here. I'm going to close this. Uh, for those who prefer, because I promised I was going to talk about this. For those who prefer uh, using uh, Cursor as opposed to the Cloud Desktop, I would say you can accomplish the same thing in, in cursor. Now, if I have this logic generate uh, thumbnails exposed as an MCP server here, you can come into cursor, go to, let's see, settings, cursor settings. And what you're going to want to do is go to tool and integrations. And again, the same setting could be set up here. So uh, that MCP server you've set up, let me open this up just to show you guys. Uh, this is the Python code. It's all available on GitHub. I'm simply saying use this as an MCP. Now, why is this powerful? Pause this, take a screenshot of this. If you're going to build your own MCP servers, this is how easy it is to expose those tools as part of uh, the MCP here in uh, Cursor. So tools and integration is what you need. Now, assuming you've done this, what you're going to do is close this. Let me go into a new chart. Say generate a Tom. No, of give me a place to say Everglades, uh, Florida. Just uh, thinking of locations. So again, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you what tools to use. I'm not saying go use this thumbnail generation tool. I'm simply telling what I want. I'm giving it the task, what I what I want to be accomplished. And it, it knows to go. It knows the tools that are available. It's picking the right tools. It's going to generate the single thumbnail. And that is it. If I wanted to, let's see, where did you put this? Uh, Everglades. So there you go, Everglades. Perfect. Love it. Beautiful. You can even see alligators uh, uh, in there. Uh, and it does it in a zoom now fashion and then the closer fashion. Now, if I wanted to say generate a thumbnail or generate an email or generate a report, say you have a uh, some logic you've written to generate a comprehensive report and you want to email that to somebody or update it to your calendar or follow up on, on a meeting, upload a video to YouTube, whatever the challenging problem you have, now you're simply prompting that in here. If you have a list of tools, 
it would use those tools, generate the thumbnail, upload it to YouTube, generate the thumbnail, send it to an email, follow up on, on the client. The, the sky is a limit in terms of how you can string up these tools to then solve your problems, either in cursor or in Claude. And this is what you really need to be thinking about. Now, so what is the call to action here? Again, I'm not going to go into the code of, of writing MCP servers. I think most people should understand that if you don't just prompt it and say, build me an MCP server, it will take care of it for you. But the call to action here would be, what problems do you have that you can now expose as MCP, as tools uh, using the MCP protocol into the existing interfaces that we use. So when you come into your uh, cloud desktop like I am, you should have a list of tools that are unique to you, solving problems, 10xing your productivity, giving you massive advantage that your competitor, your, 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 the average person does, uh, does not have. That is a game changer. And I think that's to me the big promise of why this whole space is so uh, exciting. Um, if this was cool, let me know. I, I can do more demos of this. I have a list of tools I've, I've developed and exposed. Uh, a lot of them are available on the GitHub uh, repo. If um, I don't think I make this public yet, uh, but these are things that are all available in the GitHub repo um, that you can simply clone and, and install yourself. But to me, code sharing code these days is not the it's not a differentiator. I think the differentiator is a problem because I can share this code, you can clone my repo, or you can just ask Claude to give you your own code and you, you get to the same point as, as I am. But think about the problems you have. Think about the use cases. Think about the challenges. Think about the automations that you need to do. And then just have it as MCPs, expose it as tools. And now you have massive, massive advantage at your fingertips that others do not have. So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this inspired you. I love this stuff. This is so cool. Thanks for watching and sticking to the end. This is Fro. I'll see you on the next demo.